This is the world that we live in. I feel myself get tired. This is the world. and members of the Thomas Chase First Nation joined together in Rosdale today. The relocation of the Walterdale Bridge will change the boundaries of historic sacred territory. Bound members argue the city hasn't gone through the proper consultation process. You know, I like to see uh, our rights respected. You know, we're, 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 uh, we're an Aboriginal people that have people buried down there. And you know, we need to uh, be respected in that, in, in that aspect. The city is set to meet with the band to discuss the issue. First of all, I'd just like to thank everybody for attending for showing up. This is a very important day. Very important uh, sacred site for our people. Our ancestors that are buried in here. And, uh, and we fought long and hard to help protect it. Uh, we could strike over here. He actually, uh, Approached our, our chief and council back in 2000 and told us about F4 wanting to expand the uh, Rossdale power plant and expansion. And uh, they wanted to uh, basically build it bigger and expand it. But he told us that there was a burial ground here and that we have people buried in here that we should get involved. So we got involved in the hearing, went through that process, but of course. Uh, you know, these projects are always pre-approved, it seems, and so they got the go-ahead. But what stopped it was basically, um, you know, we'll show you later, but there's a rock over there. It's a burial over there that they, that uh, F4 was, was going to start digging over there for a postal. They ran into a burial two feet down, and then on F4's property, they ran into burial remains as well in 2001. So, this is a burial ground. Our people are buried here. There's still, there's still people buried here. So uh, that's what stopped the project. And uh, so uh, for a while, since about 2007, we were in meetings with them about uh, building this monument and uh, re the reinterment ceremony and uh, protecting this site. And it's, since 2005, it is uh, uh, considered a registered cemetery. But as you can see, there's no signage telling people that there is. People drive by, they don't even know this is a monument to our ancestors. So these are issues that we need to uh, address to do this. And not only that, the important ones are, they want to replace the bridge, the Walterdale Bridge. But the bridge they want to propose is on this side of it, and we'll come right by the cemetery. But there's a, Belvedere with paddles on it, they want to take that out as part of the memorial and they want to remove the cemetery, uh, the cemetery boundaries back further. But they haven't been discussing that with us. They haven't been, we haven't been uh, at these meetings since 07. And we knew about the uh, replacement of the bridge back then, they brought it up. But we're not at the table. So we've been stuck and uh, as an Aboriginal community, we're not being respected. So we need to basically uh, uh, protest and bring that to your attention. And I sent the city a letter uh, to the city of Edmonton to uh, explain that to them, that they need to consult with us properly, to do so on a broader, broader basis, not uh, you know, not just leave it up to a, a handful of people. They need to consult with us properly, and that means descendants who have people buried in the So I just want to thank you people for showing up, and I've asked, uh, um, Elder Francis Whiskey Jack to uh, say a prayer of blessing on our behalf and to uh, and then what we'll do is we'll uh, place some crosses and uh, we can do that here in this location. I also want to mark that one. You can see it's over there in the open area. It's a rock. People don't know it's there. So we need to put a cross there and uh, just in the general area. So it's, it's, a, it's a reminder of the, of the general public too that this is a burial ground first and foremost. To uh, concussion to be as natural as possible uh, to the elements with iron and granite uh, uh, stone and, um, and not go as, as deep in that. But uh, just that not many people know about this until they're told. So 
just out of respect, we just want to, like, it's, it's marked, but we want to mark it so that way, uh, with the cross, and that way people know for sure, here is, here is a burial. Um, this was uh, a desecration that uh, F4 would line, move their fence line back, two feet down, we ran right into the burial. So 22 feet into the ground here, at the, this person line. And we don't know how many more are in this area, because this is basically untouched. So there could be, you know, 10, 20, 30 people in here. We don't know. Um, so anyway, we want to uh, uh, place this cross, mark this, mark this site, and uh, mark it so that people know that we have somebody buried here. And I've uh, asked our friend here to uh, do the honor. Take this out, and here is the cemetery boundary along here like this. And uh, they basically want to take that away, but they didn't uh, tell us about that. They didn't consult with us on that. They basically just want to get it out of the way, bring the bridge through with uh, minimal consultation with, uh, with our people. <laughs> about the monuments. These poles here represent the TV poles and uh, the cross of course representing the, the different faiths that were down here, the Roman Catholic and uh, the Christian uh, Methodist. The, the, the circle representing the First Nation and then the, uh, uh, the monument goes in a cir uh, circle of uh, 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 infinity symbols representing the main team. So that was all designed with our input with the city of Edmonton. And of course it was, uh, it was built. But as real, but the thing is, there's no signage, there's nothing telling people, the city of Edmonton that drive by here every day, nothing telling them that, that this is a burial site and this is a monument to our ancestors. 